Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the last review from this expansion. Or maybe, maybe there, there's going to be another one. We'll see. Mm. But yeah, let's go through the warrior cards. First up, we have Boombos. Uh, Togran. Togran. 8 mana, 7-7. Seven, seven. Battle Cry. Uh, shuffle 3 TNTs into your deck. When drawn, blow up a card in the enemy bo enemy hand deck and battlefield. I think it has been confirmed that it can blow up a location on the board. Of course, in, in hand as well, because it's it's a card. But um, but yeah, I'm not sure if it can blow up secrets. I got no response on that. I have no idea if it can blow up aura effects or quests. I think it won't be able to blow up these these three, but who knows? Um, this is the the token for it. It's a six mana, which is interesting. I would I would think that it would be the same cost as the the minion, but whatever. Um, it's an interesting disruption tool. I think it's a little bit too slow, but if there is a value meta in standard, like against Blood Dead Knight or something like that, they can't um, get rid of the TNTs mm, unless they play um, Steam Cleaner. And I think if you would play this card, it would always win against a Blood Dead Knight because it's it's just a lot of cards that you are removing from their deck and turning their deck. But, or Priest, for example, you could also play it against Priest. You could destroy potentially the, the permanent spell from Svalna. That's another thing that uh, other cards can do. So I, I, I like this one, but it feels a little bit too slow. So still, I would give it two stars in, in Vault because it could potentially slot into some decks, maybe. You can some greedy Reno deck. Uh, in Standard, again, probably two stars because, like, would you play it instead of Odin? Probably not. Um, so yeah, two stars in Standard Arena and in Vault, obviously, <laughs> is bad. Um, but potentially, if you draw the um the TNT next round, then I I guess it's something. But yeah, just it's just bad in arena. It's just one star because it doesn't do anything on the board, and it's eight mana seven seven. We haven't seen another legendary yet. We'll probably see today. Um, misfire two mana. Uh, spell deal three, two, and one damage to random to random minions, and quick draw. You choose the targets, which is a better minefield. Um, it's probably a better. Uh, not sure how it's called, but it was from the Stormwind mini set that dealt three damage to a minion and one damage to all other minions. I think that this one is a little bit better because you can choose choose the the targets if you quick draw it. Um, so I think this one is going to see play in even warrior in Vault, in standard, in a control warrior. So I would just straight up give this one uh, three stars in both modes. And even in Arena, I think it's, it's all right. So in Arena, I would also give it three stars. So three stars across the board. Hmm. Yeah, this is the unre unrevealed epic card, which is actually the only epic card that hasn't been revealed yet. Uh, Blast Tortoise, 6 mana, 2-7 uh, beast, with taunt and battle cry, deal damage to all enemy minions equal, equal to this minion's attack. I think this card is sick, because in Wild you have a lot of um, potential um, hand buff minions, or uh, spells, or effects. And this can get kind of insane, even if it has like three attack, four attack, then it's basically a flame strike, and you have a big taunt that you can hide behind. 
I think in Wild it will actually see play in Town Warrior, in Reno Warrior potentially as well. So I wouldn't count this one out. And in Standard, I think um, Town Warrior is going to be a thing because of the two drop that we'll see in a bit. I think a lot of people are undervalue, uh, underestimating the Town Package that uh, Warrior is going to have access to. Um, so I would give this one like three stars in, in Wild and four stars in Standard. I don't think it's going to need a nerf, but I think it's pretty solid. And in Arena, I think it's it's again straight up like four stars because it clears board and it hides you behind the taunt. Even even without the buffs, I think it's solid. It's still a, like consecration without the buffs. Mm, blast charge. Destroy a damaged enemy minion, excavate a treasure, free mana, spell. Obviously, this is a little bit too expensive. It should be two mana at maximum in order to see play. Um, because, um, what's it called? Execute costs one mana. And Shield Slam costs one mana. And this is plus two mana to get a one drop that you can play then. It's... It's just too slow. So yeah, uh, I mean, if you play, I guess if you play the Excavate package, also we haven't seen the the legendary, mm, the legendary excavating card, the treasure yet. So we'll see what that does. But yeah, whatever. I think this one is. It if you are playing the Excavate package, I think you obviously you play the, play this card. But I don't think you want to play the excavate package because it's just too slow. But maybe, who knows. Um, but in Wild, again, too slow, one star as the rest of the excavate packages. Um, in standard, it's two stars unless they buff it to, to two mana, then maybe. And in Arena, it's alright, but again, too expensive. So two stars in Arena as well. I'm kind of disappointed with how expensive they are making these uh, excavate cards. Uh, unlucky Powder Man, 2 mana, 2-2 two, two Undead, Taunt, Dead Rattle, give Taunt minions in your deck and uh, in your hand and deck, plus 1, plus 1. Well, this is straight up a better color set, obviously, <laughs> because it buffs your hand as well. Um... You could potentially copy this card somehow. You could discover this card somehow. I think this card is going to be so much better than, better than many people think. And it's going to be... It's going to make a lot of people mad. And I think they, are, they will be crying uh, for, a, for a nerf. <laughs> so I'm giving this card honestly 5 stars in standard. And um, 4 stars in wild. Because in Valt, it's okay, but in Standard, I think this card is just nuts. I think people are, people are sleeping on this card a lot. Uh, in Arena, I don't think you are going to have a lot of tones. Maybe a few. So it's still like 3 stars in Arena, but I think in Standard, it's going to be super strong. Maybe I will be wrong, who knows. You could potentially play it in Menagerie, Menagerie Control Warrior. With uh, Blast Tortoise as well, I guess. Um, detonation Juggernaut, 5 mana, 3-6 mech, uh, with Taunt and Battlecry. Give your Taunt minions in your hand, plus 2, plus 2. So this one is just a Glowstone Technician, which is for Paladin. It got buffed. If, Jesus, it's super old now. I don't even remember from which expansion it's from. Maybe it's for... Yeah, it's probably from uh, Boomsday Project, so 2018, I believe. Um, but yeah, I th think this card might see some play, but it's just a book creeper on that gives your minions, <laughs> ten minions in your head plus step plus two. Like, it's not even a permanent effect that happens, for example, at the end of your turn. It's nice that <laughs> it's a make. This is Undead and this is Beast, so maybe there's some Menagerie, Menagerie down over here in the works, who knows? I think this one is the uh, the worst out of the bunch, so I think this one is 
is like two stars in standard, one star in wild. Maybe two stars in wild as well. Maybe no. Okay, maybe one star in wild. It's too expensive, I think, <laughs> for the effect. And probably two stars in in uh, in arena because it's again not not the best, not the worst. So yeah, that's that. Mm, battle pickaxe, uh, three mana for one weapon. After you play a hunt minion, gain plus one durability. This is an interesting one because you can play two of them in your deck. But um, so if your opponent destroys, for example, one of them with us, you can equip another one and just keep playing more more towns and just swing. Thing, uh, swing face for four mana uh, for four damage each round. Um, so that's that's all right. <coughs> Pardon. Um, so I think if you are playing uh, the the town package, you probably play this card twice in your deck. Uh, so, but not in world probably. But are you? Probably not. I don't know. So because you you need to wait a turn in world unless you play the zero mana taunt. Uh, the target dummies. So I think in Valt it's it's two stars, in standard it's three stars, and in arena it's probably one star honestly, because you just you just can't play a zero mana uh, mini, a zero mana ton minion. And you you probably don't have that many uh ton minions anyways in arena. So yeah. I just don't see it in arena. And the last one is the Free mana reinforced plating, which is basically like the tradable uh, free mana that gives you eight armor, but this excavates the treasure, so it's a little bit better, I guess. Um, but still, I think it's a little bit too expensive because you have shield block, which is two mana now. It gains you five armor, but it draws you a card. So I think it's it's on a similar a similar power level as a shield block. Again, I think it would be better for two mana. So, but again, if you want to play the X gate package, you need to play this card. So, I think it's again two stars, one star in vault, and probably this one is actually probably even worse because it doesn't do anything for three mana. So. But still, it gives you some value, so I guess it's it's uh, two stars in arena as well. But yeah, I'm not not excited that much about warrior cars, to be honest. I like the town package. I I really think it could work work out this time, because the, this card I think is cracked, and tortoise is insane as well. So we'll see if I'm if I'm right or if I'm wrong. Maybe the Odin Warrior is going to be the only deck, or only Warrior deck played again. <laughs> Who knows? But we still have two two more cards to get revealed, so we'll see. I think this this legendary be, could be like a like a taunt one, because it's like three um three cards from all the archetypes. I mean, you have ex three cards or two. Wait, do you have? No, you have two two excavate cards. So actually, this one could be excavate. This skin could be taunt. Support, but who knows? What do you think about Warrior? I I only like the <laughs> the town package, and the rest seems a little bit clunky. So yeah, that's it for this review, and maybe see you in the last one with the remaining cards. We'll see. And in the future, I think you can expect some some interesting um, interesting stuff. Maybe. I'll go over uh, like patch or unannounced patch details. Maybe we'll go through some port interactions, art art secrets or whatever from order sets or some interesting facts. Maybe I'll upload some gameplay from time to time. We'll see what I will do on this channel. Thanks for watching again and see ya in the future. A great day.